Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is Prop Circles 2. This video is going to be on the Atom RC Dolphin Pro. Um, this is going to be a remake of my late, last video I had out uh, due to some false information that I had on the V-Tail. Um, I gave kind of gave you guys the wrong information of how that operates. Um, so this video is going to clarify that, the information for the V-Tail. Uh, the V-Tail is a lot bigger than the stock V-Tail. Um, I don't have a tape measure on me right now. I mean, I can pull uh, one by one dolphin off the wall and show you in comparison of the tail. The ta tail is much wider and much taller and much bigger. Um, matter of fact, I'll do that right now. And I'll show you the tail. So as you can see, I'm not going to show that much of a difference in the, probably in the video. So I can bring it closer and give you guys an idea. The tail itself is so much smaller. It's almost, if you, if you see it in person, it's almost as small. I mean, it's like almost half the size of the tail that's on the Pro. And the, and the rudder surface is huge versus this little tail. And this is the regular dolphin. And it is much smaller. As you can see. I mean, it's not the greatest video to show you the comparison of it, but it's the Pro is a lot bigger. The tail is a lot bigger. And the control surfaces in the back here are a lot, lot bigger. Probably, I would say, probably twice the size of this, even width and length of this. So the throws are going to be, it's, it's going to work, I guarantee it. I mean, the videos even show it on their, on the Adam RC video of the Dolphin Pro, them flying. It, it's going to work. So I do have... In this plane, this is just for um, for the maiden flight. I do have a DJI uh, air unit in this. Uh, this does take the DJI 03 and a DJI 04, and it will take an air unit as well, or even a Vista, like the older DJI stuff. I did end up designing my own uh, plate that goes in between the antennas to hold the antennas apart and make it more of a V. Um, in the kit, they give you one. I really didn't like it. I do have that on my Thingiverse page. Um, it's Prop Circles 2. If you do a search on Thingiverse, I do have that in there. So right now, I'm just going to be running the air unit for the maiden flight. And then I will be definitely dropping in an O3 in here for sure. Um, everything on the kit is completed now. Um, these two pieces on the wing... I forgot what the heck you call them, but they're on there now. They weren't on there before in my latest video. Um, I got the prop on it now. The motor is all done. Everything is wired up. I'll show you the inside. I'm running the F405 wing. I'm running the HDLRC M100 uh, GPS. I'm running a 50 amp uh, ESC with 32 bit. Uh, Express LRS um, and that's everything that I'm running in the plane right now um, everything is set up like I said and is ready to go um, the weather here in Pennsylvania has been really bad for the past two weeks it's been raining and very windy today it finally cleared up so hopefully tomorrow won't be as windy I'll be able to get a maiden flight in and now I will show you guys um, how the V-tail is set up the correct way this time, not the false information. I was getting too far ahead of myself in the, my last video, and I apologize for that. That video I'm definitely taking down because it's just the information isn't, you know, correct. Um, I do run a 4500 and a 5000 milliamp battery. Uh, my 5000, my, this is a 4500 milliamp uh, 50C. Um, I'll be running this in my Maiden. Um, and I have this perfectly balanced right now in the plane. I have it marked. I have Velcro. 
Um, the plane does not come with, uh, the kit version does not come with any Velcro and it does not come with your uh, power lead for your battery. Uh, Radio Master Pocket. I love this radio. I use it on all my aircraft, all my planes and stuff. Um, I will show you how I have the V-tail set up and the throws for that. Um, I do have my air unit unplugged so there's an overheat. So I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of demonstration of how all my how all my ailerons are not elevators. They're not el elevons anymore. They're uh, <laughs> they're ailerons. Sorry, brain fart. Because now the V tail is working as my is working as your yaw and also as your pitch. Um, so I'm going to show you guys right now. I have my radio set up in manual mode to show you the throws and how much throws this plane has. Uh, a lot of people were worried about the throws. It, uh, it has well, it probably had 40 millimeters of throw when in manual mode. Um, so I'm going to put it in manual right now. And I'm going to show you exactly the deflection, like what way they turn. Because there are some people out there that are just not 100% positive how the V-tail works. Um, I do have a, a video on the V-tail of how it does work. And this is just going to show you again. So, on the V-tail, on your yaw, when you push your stick left, that side's going to go down. This side's going to go up. Then when you push right, this side's going to go up, and that side's going to go down, as you can see. I'll bring it down a little bit more to give you guys a better idea of how much flexion I have here. And like I said, this is in manual mode. So as you can see, when I'm pushing the stick to the right, this one's going down this side's going up let me give you a little bit better as you can see for the yaw and you can see which way i'm pushing the stick pushing it to the right this one's going up that one's going down and it's going to be the opposite push left that's going to go down that's going to go up and there's a lot of deflection there and that's for the yaw and then if you're going if you're going yawing to the left and going up, you'll see how this works when you push left and up. This one will go completely flat and level and that's exactly the way it's supposed to work. So when you're going up and to the left, this one's going to go down and give you the, this one's going to go down and then this one's going to go up. That's just giving you an idea of how that works. So I'm pushing right. This one goes down. That one goes up. And then if I'm going to go up while I'm yawing, that one levels out. And that's the way it's supposed to work. And then you can see my pitch. I have a lot of pitch, a lot of authority up and down. So people were concerned about if it has enough in it. It has plenty. Trust me, it's going to go up. And that's pretty much it on the tail and how I have it set up. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I showed you all which way they go. And when you're doing your ailerons, it's going to be up on this side when you're pushing to the left. Up on that side when you're pushing to the right. It'll go down. This will go up. That will go down. This will go up. That will go down. And like I showed you... This is now your pitch up and pitch down. So pitch up, these will go up. Pitch down, these will go down. Push left. This one goes down. That one goes up. Push right. This one goes up. That one goes down. That's how that works. And that's pretty much it on the V-tail, how it's set up. Um, and the iNav, you do have to change a few settings. If, you, if it is backwards, you got to reverse your servos and also go into your configurator. I mean, your mixer and then change your mixers for your uh, pitch on your tail. 
So hopefully I'll have a video for you guys soon. Um, okay, so now I'm going to kind of show you a couple of things I ran into, problems with the kit. Um, it's nothing major or anything like that. Let me shut the plane off here. Unplug it. I ain't gonna need the battery in it anymore. I'll put the cover back on. I'll, I'll leave the covers off to kind of give you an idea what the front of it looks like, the way it bolts on and everything. Um, it's pretty neat how the nose goes in. This this in, insert slides into the in, inside of it, into the nose, and it slides up and in the inside, and you got two screws that well, two bolts that bolt in here that bolt it onto the front. So if you wanted to take the nose off and like get the SD card out, you just pop these two screws out and the whole nose comes out and you pull the SD card right out of the front. It's pretty simple and quick. Um, that's pretty much it on that. Um, what I did is how I ran my antenna. If you guys get the Pro and you do Express LRS, um, I got mine mounted on the side here, as you can see. My antenna is stuck in here in a little crack of the wing and there's a little bit of hot glue in there that holds it on from moving around so it doesn't fall off. And I will be making a 3D 3D printed parts for the F405 and also the GPS. I'll probably make a whole entire plate that goes on the inside um, 3D printed and everything else and probably even for my ESE which is double back and taped underneath here there's a channel on the inside and all your wires go through and all that um, the motor I am running in here um, is the uh, MK2 which is the 20 X 2216 7 uh, 1300 kV motor and that's what I'm running I run that in pretty much all my all my uh, the ZOHD and the AR um pro and the ar 900 i run it in that one too and love the motor i get really good flight times with it and it's pretty fast motor so that's the reason why i use that motor and it's, i don't like the little ones that look like quad motors so that's the only reason why i use that motor um on the servos you can see how the servos are set up pretty simple And this servo on this side, and the V-tail, how they're set up, as you can see. And the one thing I was talking about is if you buy the kit and you buy servos, and you buy servos with a really, really long wires on it, you're going to have to cut these down because it's only meant for like a short wire, which is, I think it's like 60 millimeters is the longest length. So if you buy servos with really long wires, you're going to have to cut them and splice them like I did here. Um, because they'll be too long and you can't fit the wire anywhere because the servo goes into this little spot That's the only problem I had on this whole entire plane building it I mean everything else went in the servos on the wings They just go in here and then this plastic cover underneath you take open it up and you put your servo wires underneath that um, And it could be pretty much any length because I bought really long servo wires because I wasn't sure how they were going to go in the plane And then like I said, I got that all ready all set for its first maiden um, and I definitely appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting and you know finding out things that I say that's incorrect because I'm excited um, I've been building planes since the 1980s um, I've been into this hobby for a long time so I, I was really excited in my last video trying to explain how the V-tail and everything works and how you set it up and everything and kind of gave you the guys the false information. Like I said, I deeply apologize for that. Um, this is just going to be a, a new video on that. If you guys want to see something uh, like a comparison to the other dolphin, uh, I can probably try to do a video on that. Like I said, I'll show you the dolphin again. I mean, a big, big, big difference. And see, I could probably pick the camera up and show you. You know what the difference is in the in the uh, regular dolphin and the pro. I mean, this is nose to nose right here, and you can just see 
the difference and how big it is comparison and like I said the, the tail the V tail on the back is so much bigger I mean it is it is dinky and it's hard to see in the video and I apologize you really can't see that but the room I'm in is kind of small and where I have to record at it's kind of a small area like I said guys I appreciate it thanks for watching my videos and uh, take care guys and I'll see you in the sky